Hey guys, it's Nufi from Nufi Loves Luxury. That's what we're trying on. Loz is still around, but she's just very unwell. So we're just gonna give that a go. I'm gonna do a quick video today and it's just really um, to let you know that I do have an unboxing coming. Um, it's something that's probably, you know, you've heard me talk about. I asked you to help me choose, but I wanted to share my experience. Before that unboxing happens, I wanted to share while I'm calm and not so excited. Um, what happened so I, I posted a video and I got some really good feedback around you know the Pachette is more like a workhorse the, the Pachette Matisse etc so I just wanted to share that today but I also wanted to start off by saying thank you to everybody that has been liking and subscribing I'm sorry I'm close up Nuvi um <clears throat> I'm sitting at my desk um I really appreciate it if you are watching today and you haven't subscribed subscribe so yeah thank you thank you for all the comments and uh continue doing it so can we talk so i really really have been trying to say okay i'm only going to try to buy try um you know two two to three bags a year if that and then maybe some little things and i'll do some makeup and stuff like that so please hang in there with me and continue watching i certainly am not going to have hundreds and hundreds like some other you know youtubers which i enjoy mind you um but uh yeah i i do get very excited with what i purchase so i just wanted to walk you through so what had happened is i really wanted a bag that not just is a work bag and not is my most favorite bag which is this um marshmallow i just love that bag so much it's crazy so I bought a few different bags and I'd been looking at, you know, like I haven't bought a Chanel yet. Should I buy a Chanel? And, you know, I bought a few bags that Chanel-esque. Um, then they're not trying to be Chanel, so not fake or anything. And I just, I was like, mm. and then I was like, okay, what do I really love? And I don't love Kelly's. I don't love Birkins. I don't love all that, you know. And so I thought, right, what do I like? And I like fun and I like colors and I don't care what age I am, you know. And then I was like, hang on. One of my most used bags is my Riverside, which is in the Demira Bean. And I use it all the time for work and I love that bag so much. It's got the red interior and I just, I love it. So I was like, oh, why don't I just look at, rather than new collections, what else is there that everybody else loves? So I'm like, well, the Pichette Matisse, right? So everybody's got one. They've been around for 10 years. They've come in all sorts of, you know, leather, canvas, all sort of collections. And I'm like, yeah. And I've looked at them a few times in the boutiques and I've put them back. And I'm like, why do I not like this and everybody else does? Anyway, late to the party. Of course, over the last sort of six months, I'm like, oh, I kind of do like that bag. And I think it would be a really good everyday bag, right? Because it's a really nice soft crossbody. So I thought, oh, maybe I should look at that. And then I start looking at the corsette. And, I've, and a lot of people compare them. I'm like, yeah, I love that. And I really love the new Lock Me. What is it? Lock Me Ever. Lock Me whatever in the mini anyway. They've got the beige with the pink interior and then the pink with the beige interior. And it's classy and I like it actually. I think I like it more than the Capucine, which was another one I considered. So I was like, oh. So I got on and I was talking to a sales assistant and his name's Ryan and he's just so fabulous and he's so helpful <laughs> and he's so nice. And like he could have sold me a more expensive bag, but he's like, what do you want it for? What do you, you know, what sort of color schemes? And yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was just so nice and so helpful. And then I said to him, Oh, I've got a black car with red leather seats. <laughs> and he's like, well, you could get, because I've already got the key ring holder, which I might have here. Um, I'll just try to get it while, while we're talking. Um, you know, in the bi color, this one. And he said, well, you've already bought that. Why don't you buy the matching for Shet? And I was like, no, no, I'm really after the pink. I love the pink. And then he's like, oh, but it has a red interior, you know. And I'm like, oh, so does the croissette. So, you know, blah, blah. Then he said, the... Pichette Matisse is made of the calfskin leather, leather, but I think he said the Lock Me, whatever it was called, is made of something different. So I was like, oh, that would be nice. So I nearly got that. And then I nearly got the Pichette. And then we went back and forward. And he actually spent a lot of time with me trying to decide what was best for this purchase. So then my husband, of course, says, just buy both. I'm like, no, I need to be more disciplined. I'll buy one of these that I think is a great, and then you know, after Christmas, I'll have a look and I'll save up and I'll buy one of the others. So I have bought a bag and I'm going to do an unboxing and I want to show you. And I'm not going to say which one. You may or may not guess and that's okay. And I know I'm late to the party, so whatever. 
But I just wanted more wanted to share what a great experience it was to have Ryan, sales associate, um, just help me so much. He was so good about it. Anyway, he's posting it out to me because I do live an hour and a half to two hours and in Christmas traffic, I don't want to be two hours in the car while my two hours back trying to find a car space in the middle of Collins Street in Melbourne. No, no. So, um, and when I do go there, I see a lovely lady called Bonnie, but it, Ryan is somebody, you know, when you just bring the way to the, the customer service on the Louis Vuitton website and um, I got him, he helped me get my Christmas animation stuff and he helped me last year and he helped me last year buy a few things when I was really sick. That's when I had my tumour and I was in hospital and it was really nice to come out of hospital and he'd, you know, sent me this beautiful magazine and some perfumes and other things and it just made me feel really good. So I really, really think he's great. But yeah, he talked about my car with me and all sorts of things. And I know people will be going, oh, he's a salesman, that's that's his job. Well, it is his job. But I'm after something and he wants to sell something. And, you know, what I liked about it was what a nice experience that was because I couldn't go in the boutique, whereas where you get your beautiful experience, I thought, well, you know, at least that was an experience. So, yeah, I just wanted to share that today. That's all this video is about. I've put a few pictures up here of... Um, the three bags that I'm really interested in and I feel like I want them all <laughs> but I've ordered one so far so let's see which one it is and guys I just want to say thanks for watching and sticking with me I think I'm up to 159 I think I'm going to do a giveaway if I can get to the 500 um so and I'm thinking um if I could get there if you can help me Press subscribe now press subscribe um and remind me of this video remind me that i said at 500 i'll do a giveaway okay guys i'm gonna leave it there and hopefully that bag will arrive in a couple of days and i'll be able to do an update in a few days from now but uh for all you that are doing the christmas uh, vlogmas and um all the different things i'm enjoying it but you know what i'm equally enjoying listening to candy sweet love for lv say man it was hard work and no no, because I was like, yeah, I, I'm so glad you said that. That's honesty, because that would be so hard. But um, I think it's great for those that are doing it. I don't even have a Christmas decoration in sight. So I thought, hey, I will bring my ears. Hi. And I'll just say Merry Christmas. Uh, but anyway, guys, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching and uh, see you later.